Hi, it's Marcus here from 4 Pods. Um, going to go through some details about the pricing matrix with you. The pricing matrix is a very important feature for retail stores. Um, to put it in a nutshell, maybe a reference to one of our customers that's been using 4 Pods for uh, about 13 plus years. Um, quite successful business owner, obviously. Runs a liquor store, 9,500 products takes him half an hour to change all the prices in his business and this is why this is such an important feature so let's take one item as an example um, I've chosen a product called coca-cola vanilla no they do not sell it in 2017 anymore but I have a spreadsheet which I'll show you now which refers to it so it just makes it a lot easier okay so let's look at the product itself so we've got a description all the rest of it we've got a deposit on the item the cold drink two liter deposit the, on the two liter deposit let me just show you quickly the two liter deposit has got a, a, a bottle deposit on the case 570 which is for the crate itself the plastic uh, container that the uh, six bottles are coming in um, uh, and this is a, just an example you can have no deposit or whatever the case may be all right and uh, i'm selling the product in singles and in sixes my supply quantity is six so i cost that I've entered is 15.96. So if I look at my pricing itself, it shows me that the cost, as I said, 15.96. Um, I have a matrix percentage entered on the system for singles at 20% and 5% on the case lots. Okay, so let's go and see where we would set that up. If you go back to the detail, you go to soft drinks or the pricing group called soft drinks. Over there, you'll see that that's where my 20% and 5% comes from. My rounding rules I haven't changed, so I can say if item is over that price, it must uh, and below or the cents below 39 cents, then it must remove one. So let's leave that as that for now. I'm going to go back to my pricing. Okay, so there's a lot of numbers here, and it, uh, let's go through it slowly. So the cost is 50.96. My matrix percentage says take a 5% markup or calculate a 5% markup for me. Um, my unit deposit uh, is zero. In other words, there's no deposit on the physical bottle. The case deposits here, as you can see, is the five rand, the five rand seventy that we saw earlier, excluding the VAT. And then the VAT on the calculated amount would be eight rand twenty-three, which will give me a markup price of sixty-six seventy. So let's go and just take that. So let's take that as an example quickly. And I've done some calculations here in Excel just to make it easier for us. So there's my price, uh, my matrix percentage and so on. I've calculated it, used a formula here, and I said take that amount uh, plus the 5%. Okay, it gives me a, a price of 53508 uh, plus my deposit. Then I've calculated the VAT here based on the um, figure that the system will calculate uh, or the f price that it will get to and say that is then my 8% um, that gets added on. In other words, my uh, cost plus the 5% plus the case deposit uh, and added all of 14% on top of that. Okay. And the VAT will then be that. So my markup price according to the system will be calculated um, again on the 53.50. In other words, after my 5% plus my 5 rand plus the VAT. Okay. Now the rounding rules in the system says that we should um, uh, round it to the next higher rand because it works out to the 70 cents as you can see 6670 over there so it will go up to the next higher uh, rand value which is 67 rand and then it will remove one cent in other words then it will come down to 6690 or sorry 6699 so let's look at our spreadsheet again so the override price we've now entered in there or entered the system and now we're asking in my formula here, I'm saying, okay, so what is my marker percentage? So the marker percentage is basically, uh, if I had to look at my formulas over there, it is um, this price. In other words, the price that the system has calculated, uh, take the VAT off, take divided by 1.14 minus the case deposit, obviously, minus the original cost. Okay. So if you use that formula, then, then you get to 1.05, meaning 5%, 5.50, um, which is exactly what 4Pars has calculated for us. And that's how that calculation works. 
okay if we look at the GP the GP is the, the opposite in other words the GP is um, the percentage profit that you'll be making out of that item based on that selling price in other words what percentage of that price is profit and as you can see a uh, long calculation again and that will be basically the same the selling price um, minus the, the deposit okay as you can see right at the end there I've got the deposit taken off so first of all I've said take my cost price cost price divided by the selling price excluding the VAT uh, and deduct obviously the case deposit as well and that's the GP percent so what the system is telling me or what the calculation is telling me is that 5% of that selling price or 5.21% of my selling price would be profit okay so very important that you understand the difference between what is my markup from my cost to my selling price and what percentage of the selling price is profit okay let's not confuse the two in a business we will say okay fine I'm gonna I've got a 35% markup well that doesn't mean nothing in terms of your profit percentage okay your profit percentage will be much lower than that okay as we can see from the simple example from 5.5% uh, markup I'm getting to a 5.21 uh, percent GP okay obviously the bigger the numbers the the bigger the difference all right so that's how it gets calculated then another question a lot of people ask us and say but the VAT is wrong the VAT here shows 823 okay and here you just explained to us that the VAT is 819 remember that that VAT was calculated based on that selling price so the VAT on 6690 if we had to calculate it quickly would be that amount divided by 1.14 okay oh sorry I've just taken a, the VAT off there I do apologize so let's just say again it is uh, d12 minus the excluding amount okay that should be working so that's 822 and that's well 822 and cents right so it's rounded it up so that's where the system comes in a lot of people say no but four pass calculates the VAT wrong no it doesn't it's actually perfect all right so the same applies obviously to uh, the singles if you go and have to do the whole calculation over there you'll see that our GP percentage on singles is 17.24 percent although I had a 20 percent markup and that's what I mentioned earlier about the higher the markup the higher the difference between the two so although I do a 20% markup I'm only getting a 17% GP important that you understand so if I look if I had to take this now as an example in my business and let's assume now that I'm doing a hundred thousand and turnover just as a sake of a number and my GP percentage was argument sake five five point two one percent then it means it doesn't matter what my individual um, prices and so on is the total of the GP percentage in other words let's go and have a look on our dashboard again uh, on our dashboard it shows us there quite clearly there that a, a profit percentage okay that profit percentage there is the margin that you're making so you individually you might have a 20% up and a 30% markup on different types of product but overall only 13% of your turnover is profit okay so that is what you've got to chase uh, now again if it was a liquor store you'll be looking at anything between 19 and 27 28 percent if you're lucky uh, percentage in many business cases especially liquor stores that does high volume and high turnovers and so on you will trade with other traders they will get a five percent cost plus five percent that you'll get out of them so suddenly your your percentages falls down the floor so that will be very important for you to keep an eye on that uh, and of course you'll be able to also go and do and report go and look your product to your product performance report and see what you're actually achieving I mean this is what you're achieving then never mind what the paperwork says the paperwork says I should be making money yes we all hope so um, so and this is the the basis of this whole calculation and using and why it's important for you to do that let's take it one step further um, on the that same item of mine now uh, coca-cola vanilla if I go back into my pricing matrix 
because you might say but okay well it's very limited you know i don't want to have two percentages to work with no we don't so we actually have a lot more so let me show you quickly if i go into my soft drinks now and i click at the top of the screen and i look at pricing matrix pricing matrix is has the ability to go and give you per size per pack size that you use uh different percentages okay in other words in here now i've got on single unit it will tell me that i can go 20 percent on pause but on the six packs i can do it over there and then if i had other samples in other words other pack sizes i would be able to go and do much more on that so let let's jump to another product which is a lot maybe more detailed uh, i was working on castle cans earlier so let's have a look at that one local beers so my local beers example pricing matrix you can see it becomes quite extensive now in other words i can go and say on 330 ml cans i want a 15 percent markup but on 330 ml bottles i want to do uh, 12 and a half percent okay and on um it so happens that there's two 330 ml bottles which most likely means that in this database they created two with the same description okay and then on 750 moles um I could go into the system and say, no, I don't want a 15% markup over there. I want to do a, let's call it a 9.5% on there. And on the case lots, definitely go and do 12.5. I just won't be competitive in, the, in my market. I'll do a 7.5% on that. And as you can see, for each and every sales channel. So it becomes extremely powerful. If you use it right and you spend the time and the effort to go and set it up, you'll never have to worry about prices again. As the cost changes... The matrix will take care of the selling prices, and that's the important part. And that's why it's able to actually go and calculate all the prices within half an hour of 9,500 items, as I mentioned earlier. Um, I will also, the spreadsheet that we've referred to here, possibly post this onto our website, uh, onto our knowledge base. And it might be interesting for you to download and play around and go and see, make sure that you understand the difference between these two, make sure that you, you use it correctly. Uh, and take it from there. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.